Hi. Okay, hi everybody. My name is uh, Maggie McHale, and I just wanted to welcome you here to my house tonight. And for all those viewing um, online, we're going to go over just a couple things tonight. I'll tell you a little bit about how I got started in Arbonne. Um, and then we're going to just tell you a little bit about what makes Arbonne different, if you have never heard. And then we are going to go over the next 30-day um, challenge, so all the ins and outs of the program. Um, and we'll talk about the products and everything like that, so you're going to get a whole overview of what Arbonne is all about. So first, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about me. Um, I first heard of Arbonne nine years ago when my mom, who you'll hear from a little later tonight, got started in the business. I was 18 at the time, and I wanted nothing to do with what she was doing. I was super embarrassed, actually. Um, I, I just thought she was getting herself involved into something that older women did. Um, cause I was 18 and super cool. Um, and I, I really just like, was like, oh, she's, you know, she's lost her mind. All our kids are older and she has nothing to do anymore. So she's just going to do that. Great. Um, I don't want anything to do with what you're doing or the products. So I basically ignored her for four years and didn't really use anything unless she gave it to me. It was like a lotion that I was forced to use or something. Um, and I still shopped at other stores for all my other cool stuff that I thought uh, I had found. Um, so it wasn't until I was a senior in college that I started to think about like what she was doing at all. Um, and it really happened because I was about to graduate and I had spent four years studying, I say studying, um, marketing at Westchester and um, I wasn't super passionate about it. I don't even really know what I would have done with that um, career, to be honest. Um, and I just would think like, okay, so like what are my options now like once I graduate? And it was like, okay, so I'm going to have to go work for probably some like big company in the city, take the train to and from work, be stuck there all day long um, from nine to five at least in a cubicle with no window, no vacation time. Like it all was just like, wow, that cannot be the rest of my life. And my dad always talks about how like we're, my generation isn't retiring. So I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So that's really the rest of my life. Like I'm not ever going to stop doing that. Um, so and I had also, uh, you know, spent my whole life watching my parents own their own businesses. So I was used to them being able to like take time off and like my mom went to the shore in the summer and they traveled all the time and they never had to answer to anyone. So that's what I was used to like seeing and that's what I wanted. But at 22 with no money and like no real passion, like I wasn't like, this is what I want to do. I didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I didn't know how I would ever start my own business. Um, so me and my friend Christina, who you'll hear from in a little bit tonight, um, we would just stay up at night, like thinking like, okay, like what are we going to do? Like make a ton of money, be able to pick our own hours, not have to answer to a boss, like take off in the summer if we still want to, like, cause that's what you're used to as a student. Um, like what are we going to do? And it just was like that, that doesn't exist. So we're going to have to go to like the next best thing. Um, but we were like, whose life do we really want? Like who has the best life? And it was like my mom, she like lives the life. What does she do? We always say hashtag live like Lynn. Um, and it was like, we, she was like, well, Arvon. And it's like, no, like I rolled my eyes. Like I remember being like, stop, like, that's not what you do. You know, like, that's just something fun. Um, and it's not even fun. Like I thought it was dumb. And I, uh, so I, she's like, just come to this meeting. Like you have to see like for yourself, like what it's, what it really is. Because at that point, like I really only knew her and her sponsor. Like I never like knew that Arvon got bigger than that. Um, so I went to this like meeting at a hotel, which I thought was like kind of cool. And it like was impressive when you're, you know, 22. And I went into the room and there was like, just like stadium seating and like all these people there. And I just listened to what the people had to say. They told their story, like kind of how I am right now. Um, and there was another mom, just like my mom who had been a stay at home mom and like raising our kids. And then there was another, um, student that spoke that night. There was another doctor that had replaced her six figure income and was now staying home with her kids. And I was just like, holy crap, like people do Arbonne for a living. Like it wasn't just people doing Arbonne to fill their time. Um, so we just like, as I listened to everything they said and just all the benefits of doing this business and you know, the perks that come along with it, um, I was like, I couldn't leave that room without giving it a shot. Like I was like, I have to, if, even if a quarter of what they say is true, I can't just walk away from this opportunity and say like, yeah, that's not gonna happen for me. Like I have to try. Um, and I remember thinking, like, even if in 10 years I get to the level, like, where you, you know, drive a Mercedes paid for by Arbonne, and you're, I'm bringing in a full-time income, and I can stay home with my kids, like, that'd be really cool. I'd be 32 years old. Like, that would be worth it for me. Um, 
And I always had like in the back of my mind, like, well, if it all doesn't work, like whatever, I finished school and we'll figure it out. Um, so I just kind of jumped in and what I first started doing was use the products. So um, really the first thing I, I dug into was the healthy living products, which we're gonna talk about tonight. Um, I started using them when I did the 30 day program while being in college. And um, within the first two weeks, I lost like 14 pounds. I was feeling amazing. My skin looked different. Like everything was changing and people were noticing. So people were asking me like, whoa, like what are you doing? You look completely different in just two weeks time. Um, so I was just like, you know, this is really weird, but Arbonne, <laughs> I did it. can't believe I'm admitting that. Um, but I started to realize like, wow, okay. Arbonne has products that people want. Like that was like a big thing for me. Like, cause I really thought like I deep down, I was like, I don't know that I can really do this because I don't think the products are good. Like I just really didn't think that they were worth it. Um, and then as I started using everything, it was, everything just was working. The, you know, the nutrition products were working the skincare was working. Everything was working. And I found myself naturally talking about it. Um, so, um, after that I was like, okay, like kind of sold on like the products definitely. Um, and I just really listened to like what my mom told us to do. I really just jumped in and was like, tell me what to do. I'll do it. Um, and within two and a half years, I promoted to the third level where you're um, driving a Mercedes Benz paper by Arbonne. Um, and I was bringing in a full-time income where I didn't have to do anything else. And, um, I didn't have kids at the time. Um, but now fast forward four years from then, I had my first baby, got married and bought my first house and it was crazy but it was such a blessing that I had started when I did, like I, when I was 22 and none of that was on my radar at all. Like I did not think I was going to be getting married and having a house and having a baby anywhere near then. <laughs> um, it seemed like really far in the future, but, um, I'm so glad I did it and just like trusted my gut and, and left that room and decided to just do it because now I get to stay home full time with my daughter, which is awesome. Um, I really feel really fortunate that I get to do that, but it's also, really easy to lose yourself in your kids and I like I always say I saw that in the last year like even with myself like just getting so wrapped up in like what they are doing in their life that you lose yourself kind of um so I really like that with Arbon, I've been able to still bring in a full-time income all while being able to stay home with her um and like a really good full-time income it's not like a joke <laughs> um and that you have your own goals and stuff that you're still going after like I I don't know that I would be able to stay home full time and just kind of give up everything. Um, so it's really nice that you get to like still have your own life and goals and go out and be in front of adults because watching cartoons all day is really great, but <laughs> it gets old really fast. <laughs> um, so that's really um, my Arbonne journey. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Nicole just so you can kind of hear um, a little bit about what makes Arbonne different than maybe products you're already using and um, other com companies you're familiar with. Hi, I'm Nicole, and um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about Arbonne and what makes Arbonne so different. So Arbonne's actually a 37-year-old company. Um, we've been around um, for 37 years, and we are in the health and wellness industry and personal care products. So um, right in Arbonne's catalog, if you were to look at catalogs that are on the table, um, you'll see there's anti-aging and personal care products, and that represents like a multi-billion dollar industry right there. And then in the second half of the catalog, there's also um, health and wellness, like nutrition products, which represents a multi-billion dollar industry. So right there, Arbonne actually has two multi-billion dollar industries represented right in their catalog. Um, what makes us so unique and different um, compared to what else is out there on the market? Um, it's basically our philosophy. So when you hear of Arbonne, you oftentimes hear of that we're pure, we're safe, and we're beneficial. And it's really about what we don't put into our products, um, what we don't use in our like um, skincare formulations or in our ingredients in our nutrition products. And um, we're some some of the things that we are is we're vegan certified, so that means that there's no animal products or animal byproducts in any of our um, nutrition products or any of our makeup or skincare. And really, what that means is. Um, I never knew prior to Arbonne that there was such a thing as um, animal byproducts or animal stuff um, in your makeup or in your skincare or um, in your nutrition products or any of that stuff. So um, what Arbonne does is we actually are certified vegan and that's all it means is there's no ani like animal junk in, in our stuff. Um, we're also uh, gl gluten free which is very um, important for a lot of people these days whether they have 
gluten sensitivities or they have celiac disease. Um, so all of our, um, our products are gluten free. We actually, um, we are no GMO. So that's another like hot button word, um, pretty, you know, like trendy, um, that that's genetically, um, modified organisms. So we, um, are non GMO. Uh, we also don't use any, um, mineral oil or formaldehyde or, um, you know, there's a list in our catalog that's like this, you know, this long that lists everything that we're free from. So it's basically any like toxic ingredients. Arbonne doesn't formulate with any of that stuff. Um, and that's what makes us so safe is because we actually um, avoid those chemicals and we actually abide by the European Union um, laws and regulations. And over in Europe, they're actually very, very strict about what they put into their skincare and their nutrition products and even like they're just food in general. Um, like their McDonald's over in Europe is very different than it looks the same, but what they use over there is very different than what our McDonald's um, ingredients is over here. So we actually abide by uh, the European Union. So over there, there's about 1200 or so, like maybe, um, you know, chemicals that are on their do not use list over there. And over here in America, there's like 12. Um, so you just think about that for a minute and you're like, well, why is it not okay for the Europeans to, like to be using those things, but it's perfectly fine for us Americans here to be using those those chemicals. So, um, so that really makes it um, you know a safe company. I feel really good about using those um, those products, especially like on your my kids, like you know the baby lotions or um, the sunscreens and things like that. Um, what else? Oh, we actually distribute our products through a network marketing um, system, and all that means is. Um, when you have like a traditional retail company, they, it actually goes from the manufacturer um, to like the um, distributors, to the warehouses, to the retail space, to the celebrities that promote the products, um, and then to the consumer, the people that are actually buying the stuff. And all Arbonne is, is we distribute through network marketing. And what that means is it goes from our manufacturer, which is um, our home offices in California, so here in the United States, um, we bypass all of the middlemen and it's basically our word of mouth and then it goes into the hands of the consumers. So that's all that it means. So when, um, you know, sometimes people will ask like, well, why can't I just go to the store and buy Arbonne protein or um, Arbonne lipstick and things like that? It's because we're just cutting out all of those middlemen. And what that does for us is it allows us to put back all of those like millions and billions of dollars that they spend on all of that stuff, and especially like the celebrity endorsements who probably don't even use those products, um, back into their research and development of um, our products and then in our compensation plan. Um, that's how they award us such like a generous, very generous compensation plan. Um, network marketing actually is like one of the fastest growing industries um, these days. There was just like a statistic that was released that like it's out, out of six households, every six households, there's like one out of every six that actually are looking for a network marketing company, um, um, you know, on the side, whether it's, you know, alongside of whatever they're, they're doing their full-time income. Um, we're a global company, so you could buy Arbonne products in um, a handful of countries now. So we're not just in the United States. We actually are in Canada, the United States, uh, the UK, we're in Australia, New Zealand, Taiwan, Poland. I think I got them all right. And uh, next year we're actually launching into Germany. So every time we meet with people and different groups of people, we always like to say the countries that we're in because since this is a global business and since this is our business, we're always looking for contacts in any of those countries. Maybe you work with someone who is from Germany or you know your husband travels to Taiwan or you have cousins that study abroad in New Zealand. Definitely let the um, consultant that invited you here tonight know those um, different things. Um, what else? Uh, what we do as Arbonne Consultants, and Maggie's going to come back up and do a healthy living uh, presentation in a couple minutes, um, but what we do, a lot of times people ask like what we do. Um, like I said, we're the word of mouth advertisers, so all we really do is we group up people, um, we tell them about how awesome the Arbonne products um, are, they sample them, and then we teach them how to get them at a discount, um, these pure, these safe, and these beneficial products. Um, one thing I forgot to say too is they're pure because of our ingredient policy. They're safe because we abide by the European Union, but they actually work. So it's really hard to find um, such a healthy product that actually does what you want it to do. Um, I know a lot of people that will make their own like 
lotions and face creams and different things, but they don't really always work or produce the results that you want. So with Arbon, it's you actually are getting a very pure product and it actually works. Like our anti-aging is amazing. I can say 50 bazillion things about it. The makeup, um, everything, stuff like our baby sunscreen and like the nutrition products. So everything actually really does work. Um, when, when Maggie's doing the healthy living presentation, you know, if you're just kind of keeping an eye on what we're doing here and you're thinking to yourself like, oh, like I could probably do what Maggie's, what Maggie's doing. Um, just a little bit about, she was mentioning about, um, like an income potential with Arbonne. So just a little brief overview is um, in Arbonne, there's actually four levels of management. Um, the first level is what we call a district manager. And with a district manager, you can earn anywhere from about $200 to $1,200 extra per month. Um, and that's nice, that could be a car payment. Um, if you times that by 12, that's about an extra um, 12,000, <laughs> um, if you make about 1,000 per month, an extra 12,000 per year. Um, and that's really nice. That could be, you know, uh, really great um, at the holiday time, a really nice family vacation, um, pay off, a, you know, some credit card debt. Um, so that's at the very first level of management. The second one is area manager, and that's where you can earn anywhere from about two to four thousand dollars per month. Um, and if you think about that, so say you make three thousand extra per month for a year, um, that's about thirty-six thousand um, dollars in a year by just getting to the second level um, in the, of the company. And for doing something part-time, like we do this part-time, um, you know, maybe eight, eight to 10 hours per week um, alongside everything else that, we, that we're juggling. Um, and $36,000 a year for doing this is very nice. And that could be, you know, to get out of debt or Catholic school teachers. It could pretty much replace Catholic school teacher salaries um, or just pull in a very nice extra um, second stream of income. The third level, and that's actually where um, we are, are and um, a couple other here are going to be soon, um, is the regional vice president level. And that's um, the third level of the company, and that's anywhere from about four to 14000 extra per month. Um, so if you just, easy math, 10000 times 12, that's about 120000 per year for doing something part-time. So that's where Maggie was saying it's a very generous compensation plan, um, and, you know, my story, I'm not going to get into my story, but when I was looking for something, I wanted something that um, was something where I could walk walk away from my full-time job, but still give me that that income that I wanted. Um, and I never thought that in a business like this, you could actually make um, money for doing something like this, um, this little thing that I thought that Linda was doing, um, and I ignored her for four years. Um, and then the last um, level of the company is national vice president, and that's anywhere, um, well, they say about an average of $22,000 per month, um, which is crazy. And that's pretty much like lifestyle income and CEO money. Um, so that's about, I don't know, 200,000 plus um, for an Arbonne business. So there, that just kind of gives you a little glimpse into what's possible. So when you're watching Maggie do the healthy living presentation, um, you know, if you're interested in learning more about the, the income opportunity, definitely get back with the person that invited you, um, get your questions answered, find out a little bit more um, about what's possible um, with the income opportunity. So. Okay, so let me just bring up the presentation really quickly. Um, so now we're going to jump into just like the overview of what the program um, really is. So it's a 30-day detox, and that's basically... Um, just like where you're removing toxins from your system. So we'll learn a little bit more about that. Um, and it really is a lifestyle change. So I talked a little bit about how when I first started, um, it was one of the first things I was introduced to, like the first products, product lines that I used. Um, and I did the 30 day challenge. And ever since I did that, I learned so much about just different foods that you should eat and how to replace certain things that you're eating with other healthier options. Um, and I was able to carry that through over the last five years. So it wasn't something that I just did once and you know, I was like lost all the weight and then gained it all back. And it's not this yo-yo type thing. Um, I learned so much and I still incorporate these products every single day. Uh, so it's definitely become a lifestyle change. Um, and you'll learn just how to change a lot of your lifestyle too. Um, it's not a fad diet. So it's not like something where you're gonna lose like all this like rapid weight. Um, if you have a lot of weight to lose, you will lose the weight, um, but don't, have that idea in your mind like it's not this like super f quick fix that um, I think a lot of these um, different companies and products are trying to market um, and usually that's not a healthy way um, but if you if you're gonna get healthy and you're gonna use our products 
weight will come off. Um, we're gonna just expose you to some foods that maybe you traditionally thought were healthy or you didn't realize were kind of sabotaging your health. Um, we remove them from our systems throughout the uh, program. We help res it helps to reset our metabolism and you know, you're, you'll start noticing that your skin looks different, um, you'll have less cravings, um, a lot of different things like that. Um, there's no points, so if you're used to counting points or counting calories or fat, grams, all those things, if you're used to like having to calculate a lot of that kind of stuff, um, you don't do any of that with our program. You just get to eat and enjoy what you're eating, um, which I think is really nice. Uh, I don't know, I've tried to calculate some things before, like in just trying to see where I was even at, like when I was eating healthy, and it's a full-time job in itself. So um, doing that, it has to be the most annoying thing in the world. <laughs> I know they have apps and stuff, but you don't have to worry about any of that. Um, so we give you daily support. So I know it can be a little overwhelming. I think when people think about doing something like this, a lifestyle change, um, they think like you don't even know where to start. But the good thing is that we have like a full support system. So whoever you know introduces you to the program, um, they'll be there for you like every step of the way. You get added to a private Facebook group um, where we post all kinds of different recipes, um, encouragement, accountability. Um, you'll see like people even post like, I, I even exercise today. So it's like if you feel like you wanna do that and share it with everybody you can, um, or like they'll post just like the meals that they're having. Um, and it's just a good way to like interact or if you have questions, you can post there and there's like a ton of people that are right there ready to answer anything. Um, we give you shopping lists. So any, I mean, I've even had people that like go shopping and they send me pictures of literally everything they're buying, like the ingredients, like, can I have this, can I have this, can I have this? So it's like, we're really are there to support you. Um, so we teach you how to eat clean and it's not boring. So you'll see like a lot of our recipes are really easy and they taste amazing. Um, we'll tell you what foods, like I said, to remove for the 30 days that, um, have negative effects on you. And you'll see like some of the posts are really informative. So they'll tell you like, okay, we're gonna remove, we're removing gluten and here's why. So you kind of get an explanation of like why you're removing it and what it's doing to your body. Um, we teach you how to um, increase your nutritional intake, balance your blood sugar, um, how to support your elimination organs. And like when I first heard that, I was like, so what? Like, what does that even mean? Um, but you'll start to realize how important that is. Um, and to effectively remove toxins from your system. And then we even teach you how to reincorporate the foods that you're eliminating back into your diet after so that you don't like completely throw yourself off. Um, that's really important to like have a strategic way of adding those things back in. Um, so we'll teach you how to do that. Um, so kind of a little bit about like, I think some people think they're really healthy and they probably are, but every single person needs to go through something like this. Um, where you're removing toxins from your system just because toxins can enter your body through so many different ways like it's not just what you eat um a big chunk of it is what you're eating if you're not eating organic or you're eating tons of gmos and not realizing it um or a lot of those acidic allergenic foods um but really you can be exposed to it in the environment your skin care your hair care your food literally just anything that you come in contact into contact with can put toxins into your system so really anybody and everybody should be doing something like this, our program. Um, so that is a little bit about that. And just some of the symptoms of if you're in toxic overload. So um, just listen to the list and it might, you know, you might have some of these symptoms. I think we all probably have battled some of these. Um, and you might know somebody like they are like, oh my gosh, she needs to do this because she totally struggles with this area. Um, just acid reflux, um, acne, allergies, uh, bloating, that's a huge one, blood sugar issues, any cellulite, constipation, dark circles, um, uh, there's a ton, headaches, hot flashes, indigestion, inflammation, irritable bowel, itchy skin, joint pain, mood swings, muscle aches, weight gain, anything like that. Um, and there's a whole list of things and symptoms that you might be having, having that you're not realizing that if you just switch up what you're eating, could be eliminated. Um, so. I'm going to go through a little bit of an analogy and I used to not really like this analogy, I'll be honest, but then I started to actually listen to it and I was like, oh, this makes a lot of sense. Like, I think just hearing myself say it before, I didn't like it but when I listened to Nicole say it a couple times, I'm like, oh, okay, this actually totally makes, makes sense. So we use the bathtub analogy to kind of explain a little bit about what's going on um, in our bodies. So um, when you plateau basically in a traditional weight loss program, um, it's usually because you're not eliminating the toxins. So, you know, you can count all your points up and not change what you're eating. And you might lose a little weight, but at some point you hit like a wall. Um, or you might even just start gaining some of that weight back. 
or if you're um, mixing a lot of different uh, things. So I think like a lot of people get so confused with all the information that's out there that they don't just stick to one thing. It's like, oh, I'm going to take a little bit of this diet program and I'm going to follow a little bit of this one. And this one looks good. This girl looks good. So I'm going to throw a little bit of that in and then you're just all over the place. Um, so what we teach you is just to remove those toxins from your system. Um, so I'll just go a little bit further into this. So like when you're doing it, it's like you're eating and you're coming into contact with all these toxins, how I explained it. Um, and you have like the faucet on full blast basically. Um, and it's bringing all those toxins into your body. Um, and then eventually your drain gets clogged. Um, and the tub gradually fills up, which is in your body. Um, and then it spills over the sides. And then at that point, it's like, now you need help. Like you're, you know, you're experiencing all the outward symptoms now. Um, and what you typically would do, then you go to your doctor and he just gives you basically a mop. He prescribes you some sort of medication um, to clean up your mess, basically. Um, and he's not, it's not actually tackling what's causing the issues. Um, so what we do in our detox is we basically help you turn down the faucet, which helps eliminate some of the toxins that um, you're putting in your body. We help unclog the drain and that's where the support of your elimination organs um, comes into play. Um, and we get everything kind of just flowing smoothly again. And I was like, oh yeah, okay, so that, when I listened to it like a couple times, I'm like that totally does make sense. Um, so it really does work and that's why people see long-term results, results. So that's why like I, you know, I did it my first 30 day um, five years ago, but I've been eliminating so many toxins that I was typically putting in on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so that I'm able to achieve those long-term results. I actually even said, I think the day I went in to have my baby, I weighed less than when I started the program. Um, so I never even fully gained back even throughout an entire pregnancy what I had taken off just doing the program one time. Um, and sorry, so that's the removing the toxins. Um, so we teach you how to eat clean. Um, you get to eat real food, which is really great. Um, I think sometimes people get everyone like, oh, that's like, is that all I'm going to be eating? And it's like, we'll talk about how these products come into play and how they make your life way easier and they help support the detoxification of your body. Um, but we do incorporate a lot of real food. Um, we do grass fed beef without any hormones or antibiotics. So I don't know if you're familiar with that, but that's a big thing. Um, free range chicken or turkey that, you know, have no um, hormones or antibiotics and, and they're not fed any grains, um, cage free pasture raised eggs, uh, wild caught fish, uh, organic fruits and vegetables. I'm like really big on that. So, um, when you can, you should be buying organic and that's a big, um, way toxins are creeping into our systems. Um, healthy carbohydrates. So like brown rice, quinoa, sweet potatoes, um, healthy fats, coconut oil, olive oil, avocados, almond butter, stuff like that. Um, so you're still able to eat food. And what's great too, I think um, a lot of times, like when you hear the list of what we're removing, people are like, I just can't eat now. Like, how am I gonna eat? And we give you a whole list of like what to eliminate and then literally what to replace that thing you're eliminating with. So it kind of eases your mind a little bit so you don't feel so deprived. And I think that that's why, also why a lot of people see a lot of long-term results because it's not something they ever feel like they fall completely off of because they've made so many changes and they know what to incorporate now instead of, um, you know, just something even as simple as white pasta with brown rice pasta or white rice with brown rice now. Like that's just such an easy switch um, that you can make long-term lifestyle changes with. Um, so many of the common foods that we do eat have a negative effect on our body. Um, and I think we just think that it's normal to feel like that. You just, it, either how you've grown up or you just, you don't realize that you could be feeling so much better. You're just like, oh yeah, that's just how people feel, you know? Um, whether it's like you have no energy or your skin is bad or um, you're bloated, you just think that that's just like common, that everybody just feels like that. Um, but really a lot of the foods that we're eating is what is making us feel like that. Um, so we kind of just go through and we remove some of the foods that can be addictive and have that a negative effect on us. Um, so we do no preservatives, no preservatives or additives, no pesticides, hormones, or antibiotics, which she touched a little bit about on some of this, but I'll just go over it quickly again. You know, no dairy, gluten, corn, soy, or whey, um, no refined sugar, no coffee or alcohol, um, no artificial flavors or sweeteners, um, and like none no of the white foods, like so no white potatoes, white rice, white flour, white sugar. Um, so I know that can seem like a little overwhelming if you've never done something like this before, but like I said, we do really 
um, give you a lot of healthy alternatives to what you're eliminating. Um, so just to give you like a brief overview of like why it's important to remove some of those things, just so you understand, this is going to sound like a lot of information, but I think like, you know, knowledge is, is key when you're doing something like this. So just refined sugar, um, it leaves your body in an acidic state and our whole point of us is to get your body in an alkaline state. Um, and it really just wreaks havoc on your system, having refined sugars. So we really want to make sure you're staying away from that. Dairy causes all kinds of bloating, gas, belly pain, um, skin issues. So, and you'll notice like, I don't know if you've used protein powders or anything in, in before you've tried Arbonne, but a lot of them are whey and a lot of people have really hard time digesting them because it's dairy. So you have those, you know, that gas and that bloating. And that's a really common complaint of people that have used a different um, protein before. So um, gluten, that's a huge thing now too. A lot of people are, um, you know, starting to have allergies towards that. Um, I think they say like even like 50% of the population now has some sort of gluten intolerance. Um, it's really difficult for your body to digest. It causes all kinds of inflammation. So like if you ever feel like you have that like pot belly, almost always it's due to the gluten that you're eating. Um, it help, it you know, it destroys your immune system, lowers your energy. Like I don't know if you've ever, um, you know, like now knowing how you feel after having a protein shake that's loaded with really good stuff in the morning and then, you know, that day that you fall off really hard and have the breakfast sandwich, like your energy plummets mm -hmm. so bad. It's like, it's crazy. Um, so you'll start to see just replacing something like not having that gluten meal in the morning that I think typically everybody does. It's like you have toast, a bagel, this, like all, all the breakfast options typically are gluten. Um, and that's why you have such a sluggish morning and you always need to then lean on the coffee. Uh, so we help eliminate some of that. Um, the soy, is one of the most genetically modified things in the uh, world right now. Um, it's a super highly processed crop and it's really difficult for your body to digest. And it actually mimics um, like female hormones in your body. So it's really just not healthy for us. And to, at one point it was like, there was like a, a phase where it was like soy, soy, everybody was changing their milk to soy and soy. Um, and it really is just um, not good for your system. So another thing we kind of teach you is just how to balance your blood sugar and that helps with a lot of different things um but when you're eating some like when you're eating sugars and a lot of those like bad for you carbohydrates um like breads cookies crackers stuff like that um it makes your body like secrete insulin and then that signals your body to bring your blood sugar down um and that's when you start to hold on to fat and then that's when you're going to start to see like so like since our bodies typically are used to that um we're going to introduce some of the or some of the products that help eliminate some of that from happening. Um, but when you have low blood sugar, it really makes your cravings go up. So like a lot of people experience that 2.30 feeling and that's when you're starting to feel like that. When your blood sugar is really low and you're like, I could eat my hand off and fall asleep on my desk at the same time. Um, so we help eliminate some of that so you're not feeling that way. Um, and then like I talked a little bit about, we support your elimination organs. Um, so. We do it through a couple, our bodies do it through a couple different ways, and that's our liver, our kidneys, our intestines, and our skin. Um, and I like, when I first heard like that, I was like, okay, whatever. Like, when you can't really see something, you're like, I don't really, I don't really get it, and I don't understand. It sounds like it's going over my head. Um, but our liver and our kidneys are really, really important for um, flushing fat and toxins out of our system. So when they're bogged down with all of the stuff that we're coming into contact with or what we're eating, um, everything really does start to slow down and that's what I was talking we start to overflow and then you go to the doctor and he prescribes something so um, using these products like our, our detox and our digestion plus and our um, the sorry the tea um, really just helps to start getting those functioning at a high rate so that you can really flush out those toxins from your system and maintain that um, long-term weight loss so she talked about um, Nicole, sorry, talked about how we're pure, safe, and beneficial, so I'm not really going to go into that again. Um, but really, everything that you're going to start using is pure and safe, and it's been tested before it goes and to the market, and it really is beneficial. It does what it says it's going to do, um, which is really great. And so I am going to turn it over to Christina really quickly, and she's going to talk a little bit about the products.
Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through the products. Um, and like Maggie was saying before, it's really cool because this program, you could, it's a food-based program. So it's not like the whole program depends on taking these crazy pills and things like that. You could literally do this program just with food. But like Maggie was saying, these products just help you and make it so much easier. Because I know for myself, like if I had to make three organic, clean meals every day, I wouldn't do it. It's just a full-time job in, of itself. So what's really nice is that you only really have to worry about one meal a day because you have your protein shakes for the two other meals. So the protein shakes are our main product for the program. They're 20 grams of vegan protein. So like Maggie was saying, we don't use whey um, or soy protein. We use vegan protein. So it's made from pea protein, brown rice, and cranberries. Um, and pea protein is actually the best, the most easily digestible protein that your body um, can have. So that's really great. Um, and for me, I'm like mildly lactose intolerant. So when I had whey protein shakes before, I would get really bloated. I would just feel really bad. Um, so I stopped using them. But these are really good and they're really, really easy to digest. Um, they smell really good. Um, you guys can come up and smell them after. Um, you can make like protein pancakes with these. You can make protein bars with these. So there's all different kind of things you can do. Um, and you can obviously, you do the protein shake. So some people like to just put it in a shaker cup with ice and water and shake it up. Some people like to make real big smoothies. That's what we suggest with like vegetables and um, some healthy fat and some fruit. Um, and it, it's a really filling meal. Because I know for me, um, I was a little hesitant at drinking a lot of my meals in the beginning. And I know that's a big thing for people. They, they don't want to drink their meals. But when I have these, I'm so full and I have so much energy. And um, I just, I'm so much happier and more full than having like a regular, like Maggie saying, like a breakfast sandwich or a bagel or something like that. Um, so the protein is our main meal that we have. And this is our fiber boost. So our fiber boost is 12 grams of um, fiber that you can put in your protein shake. And the recommended amount is 24 grams of fiber that you're supposed to get every day. So with just one scoop of this, you get actually half of your recommended amount of fiber. And most Americans don't get enough fiber every day. Um, so you can put this in your shake. You can put it, it's odorless, tasteless. You can put it, some people put it in like water with like a fizzy that I'll talk about and make like a little snack. Um, some people put it in like their kids' food because you can't taste this. So they kind of sneak it in there to get them like some extra fiber. Um, and fiber is just really good. It helps you stay fuller longer. So um, if you have, like, say you're going to work really early and you have your shake, if you put fiber in it, you usually can stay fuller a little bit longer than you normally would, which is good. And it just pulls sugars, like, all through your system. So fiber is something that um, you want to have, and this is a really good um, way to get into your diet every day. Um, the fizzies are next. The fizzies are my favorite product. I would probably die without these. Um, I don't know if you guys have tried these before, but they come in two different flavors. They're citrus and pomegranate. And um, this is what will replace like your caffeine. And this is really good because you're not allowed to have coffee on the program. And like your sodas, and if you like are addicted to like the monster, like energy drinks and things like that, this um, is just as good for you and helps keep you awake and alert and have energy, but it's way, way, way healthier for you. It's only 13 um, calories, which is really great, and it has um, antioxidants, it boosts your metabolism, um, it has ginseng, green tea in it, and it tastes really good. It just comes like this, you just put it into a water bottle like this. You just want to drink a little bit out of your water bottle so it doesn't fizz over, and then you're ready to go. So I have these with me all the time. So you can have like one to three a day, depending on, you know, if you're really, really addicted to your coffee, these might be like really good for you in the beginning. You might really rely on the fizzy more than um, others. So there are the fizzies. Um, the Digestion Plus, I think this is actually the most important product that we have in this kit. Um, it's your probiotic, prebiotic, and it has 11 digestive enzymes. So it just looks like this little pack here. You can put it right on your tongue. Um, some people, that's probably the easiest way, and that's the best way for your body to digest it. Um, I personally can't do that because I gag and I can't get a deal. I just think it tastes disgusting that way. <laughs> I'm just being honest, but a lot of people can do it, and I wish I could because it's just so much easier. But I just put it into like a little, like four ounces of water, and I'll just like drink it really quickly. You're supposed to do it as soon as you wake up. And you could also put it in your shake, like if, if you just really can't stand the taste of it, either of those ways. Um, it's not like horrible, it tastes like just like a little like chalk. Um, you can put it in your protein shake and it, you can't taste it at all. Um, so there's three different ways you can do it, but you definitely, definitely, definitely want to have the Digestion Plus every single day. Um, it's like, it just really takes care of your gut health. 80% of your immunity is in your gut 
and it just promotes like the good bacteria because if you have more bad bacteria than the good bacteria down there, that's when you get sick and all like 90% of illnesses come from your um, gut health. So you really want to balance that out and get that good um, flora, they call it, in your gut going. And um, this is good too, they call it the um, muffin top eraser. So <laughs> like, and, and it really is true, like it makes you feel a lot less bloated and just like a little like tighter, like in your stomach. Like, and you can have this in the morning and then say, you know, you um, are feeling a little bit bloated. You can have one at night too. Sometimes we'll have two a day. And honestly, it's really, really good. It's really good for acid reflux too. Um, my dad used to take medication for acid reflux every day. So I always like experiment on him. And um, I said, just just do the digestion plus in the morning instead of your medicine for like a week and just tell me what happens. And he did it and he said that his acid reflux was completely gone with the digestion plus and now he takes this instead of his medicine. So that's also like a really cool thing. Um, also this, I feel like there's so many different uses for this. Um, a lot of times this is good for your skin too because it's like really absorbing all the good nutrients from your food. So a lot of times if people are like breaking out, I usually recommend the Digestion Plus like along with our skincare or even instead of our skincare to just to start because a lot of times it's what you're eating and um, you know the bad nutrients are affecting your skin as well. So this is like, I love the Digestion Plus. I think this is a really important product. Um, then we have the Detox Tea. So this is what Maggie was talking about to support our elimination organs. So, like Maggie was saying, she didn't really think that was like that important, um, but it really is because if you're eating really well and you know your toxins are trying to get out of your body, but if you don't support them with getting out of your body, it can be hard for them to to get flushed away. So the detox tea, it's caffeine free, so you can have it at night. You're supposed to have like one to two a day. Um, it's just like a regular tea. It's an herbal tea. Um, and it's really good for your liver and your kidneys. It just supports um, the elimination of those toxins, it supports the um, elimination of toxins like in your blood. And I think it, a lot, some people don't love the taste. I think that it tastes fine. It's just like an herbal tea. You can put um, some like raw honey in it or some lemon um, to kind of make it a little bit better, but I think it's fine. I like it now. Like I've learned to really like the taste of it. So I wasn't a huge tea drinker before, but and I, I kind of ignored it in the beginning, but then I kind of was hitting a plateau. And when I introduced my tea every day, I noticed that it was really helping. So I think the tea is a little bit overlooked, but it's actually really, really good. And um, when I was looking up like detox tea um, ingredients online, I was just looking up like what's like, you know, the best ingredients for a detox tea, like the herbs and things like that. And ours um, is really, really good. Actually, if you look at the actual ingredients on this, like milk thistle and um, dandelion root and everything like that, um, it's actually really a great detox day. So that's um, that's a good one. And then the last one, and this comes in a kit. That's how we're talking about these programs. It comes in a kit, um, or these products. Um, but you can get them separately too. And there's a few other nutrition products that we have as well. But this is like your main, this is if you wanna do the program, this is what you'll get and this is what you'll start with. Um, the seven day cleanse, this is our last one that comes in the kit. And um, I don't know if anyone has done a cleanse before, but you can eat normally on it. You don't have to like starve yourself and only drink this liquid. Um, you obviously want to eat healthy and do the program as you're doing it. It just helps. Um, but it's it's nice. It's a mild cleanse. It's There's seven packets in a box. So every day for seven days, um, you just put this in 32 ounces of water, mix it up, and drink it throughout the day. Um, and it just really helps, you know, you're like, like a sludge when your intestines like kind of come off and kind of get out of you um, and it's a mild cleanse so like you can go to work and do a few things you don't have to be like stuck at home a lot of people are like well can I leave the house if I'm doing this and I'm like yeah you can do your normal thing um, and I usually say you know I usually do it every like change of season every couple of months it's really good to just kind of do it and get all that you know um, out of you and you have to drink 32 ounces on top of this as well because you want to really really up your water intake when you're doing the cleanse um, so that is just an overview of the products that come in your fit kit and um, then you use like and then you also do the food the clean eating food on top of this and that's the, the program all right so I am going to just quickly go through what a sample day like on the cleanse looks like so I know maybe you're thinking like I have no idea what you're even saying anymore because it's so much information um, but I'll just tell you just a little bit about like how to use what she just talked about like in a typical day um, when you're doing the program. So you wake up and like she said to have the digestion plus on an empty stomach That's the first thing I do in the morning um, And then you know you can get busy making your shake um, So that you give that time to kind of just settle in and then you know You have your breakfast shake in the morning with 
your protein and your fiber. Um, and then maybe in between your breakfast and your lunch, maybe you'll have like a, your first cup of detox tea. Um, and that kind of can serve as a little, almost like a snack. So instead of maybe snacking that first morning period, um, like in between lunch and, and breakfast, you could have like a detox tea and, and a fizzy um, and maybe a little fit chew or something. That's another product that we didn't talk about, but extra little Arbon bonus. Um, and then, uh, then like I said, you can have that snack too in between if you feel like you, you need to snack in between. If you don't have to, don't. Um, but sometimes people do feel like, especially in the beginning, they're like, I need something a little bit, like just in, in between meals. So um, just a fit chew that I mentioned or a handful of nuts or you know just a couple of veggies with hummus, um, hard boiled egg, something like that. Um, then you would have your lunch, usually about four hours, four to five hours after um, your breakfast. And that can be, say, another protein shake, because um, we usually do one to two protein shakes a day um, and one to two clean meals. Um, so we could do another protein shake, uh, and that could be however you want to make it. We have nine million recipes, um, so I wouldn't worry about that. But typically it's like some fruit, some veggie, um, a fat, and your protein with the fiber. Um, then again, in between lunch and dinner, if you feel like you need another snack, just one of the healthy options um, that I mentioned. And these will be, again, given to you in the group. So you don't have to remember any, literally anything we say tonight because you're gonna see it all again if you decide to, to join us in the next one. Um, and then your dinner can be the clean meal if that's what you're gonna do. Um, again, we have really like so many, so many recipes, but basically like what you're gonna want your plate to look like is um, half of it be really super healthy veggies like lots of leafy greens and stuff like that. Um, then you'll have like your starch or your carbohydrate and then your protein on the other hand. Um, so if you think about it like that, but there's so many varieties of ways of making your plate look like that. And we, we really do get creative with our meals. So um, we give you lots of good stuff. Um, another important thing I think is, um, I think people who stay up really late and they eat like that early dinner and they get really, <laughs> done. Um, they get really hungry in between there. And that's like, again, where you can bring back in the second cup of detox tea um, or like a fit chew or something small like that. If you, if you get hungry, some people even say they'll do like the fiber in their water um, at that time to just kind of get themselves through that period of time. Um, but you might start noticing that you go to bed a little earlier on the cleanse, <laughs> um, definitely. And then something that's really important, I think, too, is to leave that 12-hour window at night. So, um, like, between dinner and breakfast, like, you just want to make sure you have, by the, your last meal and your next, your first meal the next day, you want to make sure you're at least giving yourself 12 hours. So you don't want to eat, like, at 3 a.m. and then eat again at 6 a.m., like, and start it all over again. You don't really want to give yourself that fasting window um, of 12 hours. Um, so that's really a typical day. Again, these are going to be posted again in the Facebook group um, once we open it, which is either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, so all our next challenges will be added into that group. And like she said, just to be added, you get this kit, um, you get the shopping lists, you get um, sample meals, you get sample days, you get literally, if you want to just be so, like, I, just tell me what to eat and when, uh, we have literally sample weeks. It's like, these are what you're going to do every single day for this week. And then the next week, here's what you're going to eat. Here's what you're going to eat. So we can really break it down for you that way. Um, and I just want to remind you that it's, you're never like alone, like you're the person who introduced you to the program and who got you to do it um, is going to help you every step of the way. And if they don't know the answer, they can come to us and we can answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and you get shopping lists that like say everything. And I know that can be overwhelming too. Like we will even be more than happy to go with you to the food store if you need to. Um, we've done that before. So um, just don't be overwhelmed by all the information that you heard tonight um, because you will be reminded throughout. Um, and literally like when it's time to use a certain product, we'll reintroduce it again into the Facebook group. So, um, now you might be thinking like, okay, how do I get these products? Um, so my mom's going to come up and kind of just talk about some of the options when you're doing that. Hey, hey everyone, I'm Linda Hill and I'm also a regional vice president with Arbonne. And on your clipboards, there's this sheet. It's most popular packages. So, and here's, here's the thicket. Here's everything up here that you get in the thicket. And at the top section of your form, you can see that um, you can get the Fit Kit for 50% off. So what that is, is you sign up as a consultant, like we signed up to do the business, but a lot of people just sign up as a consultant to get the discount, to get the half price Fit Kit. So if you sign up as a consultant, 
you get the whole fit kit half price and it's $79 to sign up so it's kind of like a BJ's membership mm -hmm. you know you, you sign up and then you get a 35% discount all year long you get the fit kits half off mm -hmm. and you get a 35% discount all year long so if the next month you want to order protein and fizzies you get them 35% off every time you order and anything in the catalog mm -hmm. and also Arbonne gives you a free gift up to $100 out of the catalog so your free gift covers more than covers your $79 sign up fee. So that's the biggest um, discount, the top, the top package. The second section is preferred client. As a preferred client, it's $20 to sign up and you get the fit kits at 40% off. But you also get a 20% discount all year long. And at this level, Arbonne gives you a really nice gift. It's a, it's a, a smaller selection of gifts, but they're really nice gifts that you get to choose from. So top section is half price fit kits and the second section is 40%. That's it. All right, um, and that's really it. So if you have any further questions about like how much it's gonna cost you or what like your next steps are, you can just get the person who invited you tonight or onto the Facebook Live um, and they'll explain it a little further. But that's it. All right.